It's uh, now time for this year's Hall of Fame portion of the evening and to honor the 1991 Creighton baseball team. Creighton has had 48 Athletics Hall of Fame induction classes and 81 individuals since 1968 have been honored as Creighton Hall of Famers. Tonight we induct an entire squad for the first time ever and it comes on the 25th anniversary of its magical 51 and 22 season which culminated at the College World Series in Omaha's Rosenblatt Stadium and a tie for third place nationally. And tonight's printed program is a relatively brief recap of the 1991 season. And if I was to run through all of the superlatives and noteworthy items about that squad not included in that recap, I'd be here for a long time. So much so that you would think I was making stuff up. And certainly some of these notes could not have happened. But trust me, I was there. I was fortunate enough to be the sports information director at that time and to watch and to write about those games is something I'll never forget. A couple of things that I think are noteworthy and worth mentioning. This was not a Cinderella team. Sometimes I think it's misportrayed. Uh, there was high expectations on this team and the team delivered big. The team was ranked in the top 25 all season long. It was the nation's top hitting team with a 355 team batting average. It averaged 9.3 runs per game, which ranked third best in the country. What that means is, is they averaged more than a run an inning. So it also means that any time they didn't score, it was somewhat surprising. The team batted 395 in the four games at the West One Regional in Los Angeles to get to the CWS. And I believe the 8th, ninth, and 10th innings of the 8-7 win over USC in the third game of that regional are the greatest three innings of baseball at any level I've ever seen. I could go on and on, but in the end, the team was special. And I've heard that term used a lot over the last few days with this team. The team was special in every sense of the word. It had great culture, great chemistry, tremendous passion, accountability, loyalty, and work ethic. And let's not forget that it also had the most important thing, talent. These guys could play. One through 28, amazing. Of the 28 players on the 1991 roster, 14 of them were drafted by Major League Baseball teams, some of them twice, including three that were first round selections. Five of those 14 would eventually work their way through the minor leagues and make it to the show. At the end of the 1991 season, Godfather's Pizza, Ron Gartland, Johnny Travis, and Tommy Elkins specifically, produced a highlight video to commemorate the year for all of eternity. For tonight's event, we have put together an abbreviated version, a special tribute to the 1991 team. Much of the footage is courtesy of Godfather's Pizza, so thank you, Ron and Johnny. Please direct your attention to the screen behind me. Here it is. You know, Creighton came into the tournament, the fourth C gym. They took apart a good Pepperdine team. Then they came back and took apart a good Minnesota team. And yesterday, fought back real hard and, and took apart a USC team. So, you know, you're seeing a real solid ball club. They're not a fluke. They're for real. So the Rainbows facing elimination here. And those trail in this game, 15 to 7. And the Rainbows are down to their final out. Brayton wanting to celebrate right here with this pitch. The payoff to Takayoshi. Poked into left field for a base hit. Coming around third and scoring for the Rainbows is Evans. The throw to third is in time to get... Chad Uihara, who is running for the other. Creighton, on the other hand, about to go to Omaha for the first time. And for the first time, for them, it's just a walk down the block. The attention the Jays received in Tuesday's homecoming is just the beginning of all the hoopla surrounding the excitement of Creighton's first ever College World Series appearance. Creighton in the College World 
World Series has made this the hottest ticket in town. They started camping out Thursday night for today's game. Since I've been home, it's been one nice experience after another, and uh, I had to stop a little bit last night myself and get myself back on track and, and focus a little bit, and, uh, and uh, I decided that maybe just say, let's, let's keep doing what we've been doing, and we get the rest of the summer to enjoy what we accomplished. One action in College Baseball World Series. Creighton and Clemson scoreless. Boy, what a story that would be if that team could pull off a win here in Omaha. Two on, two out for Creighton. Top of the third of scoreless game. This one hit in the gap in right center field. Way back. Off the wall. Two runs will score. Kitten will pull in the third with three base hit. Line drive, left field, base hit. One run scores easily. Freeling on his way to second with a double. Creighton leads it 3-0. Two and two to Stahoviak. Line in the left center field. Base hit. It will roll to the wall. Stahoviak in the second with a double. Four nothing. Creighton. Two one pitch. Hit in the right center field. This is another one. Hinton will score easily. McConnell will make the turn at second and go for three. Nothing, Creighton. The Blue Jays are three outs from victory here in Omaha. Mike Heathcott goes for his seventh complete game of the year. Fly ball, right field. Kinton, that win has it. Foul territory, did he catch it? He did! 2-2 Two -two pitch. Got him swinging. gave the city of Omaha a new reason to cheer. A 91 game with Creighton and Clemson. With apologies to the Nebraska fans, that was probably the biggest game in the history of this facility because it was the first time. When everything comes together as a college player and you actually get to step on that field and compete and having that opportunity is, is something that I will never forget and absolutely is the um, brightest spot in my uh, college career. After we won our first game against Clemson, we were you know, matched up against our nemesis, Wichita State. I knew we were the best team in 91. I mean, there's no question I knew we were the best team. Now all of a sudden you have 20,000 fans there, all screaming for Creighton. Just the overall electricity in that stadium for college baseball was like it's never been before and it was unbelievable to experience as a player. Anyone who ever saw that game or even has reminisced about it still gets goosebumps. Simply put, it was a great night of college baseball.